Mass Barn Cup from Kaiser Power Electronics. Today it is Saturday the 28th of March. It is day 17 in isolation and the curve is starting to have a bit higher rise rate now for the number of infected. While the um, curve for the people put into intensive care is kind of linear. So a pretty slow uh, development um, in Denmark so far, but it will probably take speed on later. Today's uh, electrical subject will be inductors, both, both for DC, AC, low frequency and high frequency. So let's take a look at that. Here is a selection of different kind of inductors or chokes. And basically what you can say about this is it's a kind of transformer that only has one winding. So where the capacitor can store a current that you can draw from, a inductor has the ability to store a voltage. And that's what you make, make use of when you use it in either the input or output the side of a circuit. So if we start by the input side of circuits, the most well-known would be something like this. A three-phased reactor, is it also called? Um, input inductor. And this is simply used for something like passive uh, PFC or power factor correction to make sure that if you have a highly capacitive load that you uh, even that out with some inductance in order to have the line current be more in phase with the supply line than just your load. There's also other iron core um, input uh, chokes that I have here. Moving on to the um, output chokes. I have two different kinds here. I have some for DC, which are these uh, ferrite cord uh, DC chokes. And there are also these uh, iron cord, which uh, are rated actually for 40 amps. Just look at that small here. It's also a very heavy gauge of wire that goes uh, through the choke here. Now these are also very commonly seen in uh, inverters double wired output chokes, something like this, a, uh, probably a small noise cancelling, can also be used for filtration, that you have a bound pass filter effect over the uh, choke. The more high current output chokes is something like these two, used in uh, welders, comes from um, power electronic welders, uh, where these are sitting on the output to yeah, pulse form the output voltage. A more special kind, um, completely encapsulated in a uh, ferrite material. And inside you have the copper coil. And this is simply made to make uh, cooling it more efficient. This were actually sitting down in a hole in a heatsink where I got it from. So uh, made for very high temperature operation. This uh, older one mounted on a phenolic plate comes from a uh, X-ray system, a pretty old one from the uh, 80s. Here we can see this is just an air cord um, choke. You do not necessarily need to have a core in, in it to be a choke to have an inductance. That can simply just be a coil of wire. And that's also why we talk about that something like bus bars or even just a bond of wires have a self-inductance. You just need a core if you need to have a higher transfer of the magnetic field. Over here is a really good old school C core choke. I'm unsure where this actually came from. But uh, for sure it's made for some high current. Now this is uh, one of the more modern chokes that uh, came from a, a UPS system. We can see it's uh, actually using lit wire, two of them in parallel, wound all around a just a block of ferrite here in the middle. And I think this is actually rated for something stupid like uh, 10 kVA. It's quite insane. And moving on to the largest choke I have here, where this is 
these two uh, were they com came out of a, a three-phased system but I think there's 15 kVA that this block can take it just says it's made from 3 in 40 material inverter chokes very nice uh, for the day comes where I want to build some big three-phased uh, PFC front end so where I can actually do that. I do not even know how to do that, so that's for a much later project. Now the last uh, hockey puck, hockey puck sitting here, 40 uh, milli Henry. That at five kilovolt. That comes out if out of a defibrillator. So this has another purpose than the rest here. This is actually made for pulse forming. The um, idea of this inductor here is to slow down the uh, current pulse of the defibrillator in order to not have such a high peak current um, because you do not want to explode people's skin but you do certainly want to push some current through their body but this uh, simply just slows down that pulse to make it useful for yeah not killing people with so that was a very quick run through of some different inductors, types and materials. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, see ya.